After reviewing the most crappy games on the internet, our fellow Stakeman decided to teach. Oh wait, what? The first video I'll ever do about education that doesn't have to do with going against my free will? Why? This has to be a rare phenomenon! Hello guys, and today, I'm going to introduce to you a new series in my channel called Bad Education. A series wherein I take my time in talking about the lessons in school that you will least likely remember about. And you might be wondering what gave me the knowledge to do such a series when all I ever do is rant about games on the internet. Well, to be honest with you, I actually never wanted to do an educational video for this channel. It's the only reason why I have some very crappy videos about useless educational lessons is that my school wanted me to make a tutorial video about some certain topics that I'm learning right now. And since I'm a lazy person, I just decided to post them in this channel as something that you will least likely understand. After doing a couple of these, I decided that I wanted to have some fun with this. So I created this series. It's just like the vanilla show, except for reviewing bad games. I'm going to review useless lessons in school that you will not remember at all. It's still entertaining, just trust me. And I will leave the source link in the description just in case you see that I discussed something wrong or that you want to give your own tips in the particular lesson. So let's start with the video. So let's start with something easy. And by that, I mean math. So you may have remembered about this particular lesson that's called the order of operations, which is more of a lesson in grade 3 or 4. Now, I remember that this was the hardest thing that was ever taught to me back then. But here's the thing, alright? The only reason why I have a hard time with this is because I didn't know that you have to follow a certain rule. This certain rule is that an equation inside a parenthesis should be first to solve, exponent should be solved before multiplying, dividing, subtracting, and adding, multiplying and dividing should be solved before adding and subtracting, and that adding and subtracting should be solved last before anything else. <coughs> Seems pretty complicated, isn't it? Well, it turns out that this rule can be simplified to the abbreviation PEMDAS, which means parenthesis, exponent, multiply, divide, subtract, and add. Now this abbreviation represents the order that you should solve the equation. So for example, 2 plus 3 times 4. You can solve it from left to right and say that it is 20, but that is not how it works. You're answered wrong. Instead, you need to follow the PEMDAS rule. So since multiplying is before adding, then you should multiply 3 by 4 first and then you should add 2. The answer will be 14. That's the correct answer. However, say you have this equation, then your answer will be 20, since anything in the parenthesis should come first before anything else. Now, I know that people would comment in my video that, Oh wait, people don't comment in my videos? Oh come on, I'm desperate for human interaction here. But going back to what I said, you might think that what I'm saying is something you might have already learned. But here's the thing, alright? There's a handful of people out there that forget about the PEMDAS rule. And let me tell you a story, alright? Back when I was third grade, I was told about this rule. I didn't listen in class, which is completely fine with me. If I'm not listening, I should get some karma anytime soon. So after failing a test about the order of operations, I finally learned about a certain rule. Although by that time, we would have already moved into a, another topic in math. Crap. But then we move on to 4th grade, and we discussed about the order of operations again. And why won't you look at this? A test about the order of operations? Why, I know that I am going to ace this. So, I did the test while following the PEMDAS rule, and one week later, guess what grade I get? Oh, did you fail? Why you are? Wait, how did you know that? Oh, I know that this would be the time when you will add that ironic twist in your story. It really has become predictable. Oh. Um. Okay. So yeah, I failed the test. And guess what? The right answers to this test is the same answers as when you will do with the simple left to right solving. Well, screw you, math teacher. Your school taught me this rule, and you just decided to screw that. Now, I'm not saying that this PEMDAS rule is retarded, if that is what you're getting in this context. However, if you're one of those people who forgot about the PEMDAS rule, well, you're a faggot. I had to fail a test because of these retards. And this happened to me again in 6th grade. That's when I start to question how consistent this PEMDAS rule is. So I look at Wikipedia, because why not? And guess what? It is an unavoidable rule! So there is only two reasons why I would have failed that math test. It is either that the math teacher is retarded, and that I should praise my 3rd grade math teacher, or that I really do suck at math. <laughs> I swear if it is the second reason, I would have made an embarrassing move in front of the internet. So what have we learned today? Well, for the love of God, remember the PEMDAS rule. I mean, it's not hard to forget. Just please don't screw that up, future math teachers. Look, I like math because when you get a good grade, you get to look like a cool douche in front of your classmates for conquering the impossible. But when the reason someone failed is because you didn't multiply before you subtract, then that would be the same reason that the guy would be killed tomorrow morning. Level,